so we have seen how we can make an api endpoints and can send and receive the data on those endpoints using get and a post request now let's try to connect our api endpoints to the front end in angular so here i have created a new angular application with just one component for testing our django application so we can see as we go to our localhost 4200 there's test work this by default paragraph which is added in a component by the angular so there's only one application in angular and in that there's only one component which is test so we'll use this test to test our django application and as you can see our django application is working perfectly fine so let's go back to our angular application and here because we we need to use the http request the get request and a post request to test our api endpoints to so let's first import the http client in our app module.ts file here i'll use import http client from at the rate angular slash common slash http and then i need to import it inside the imports list now i can use the http anywhere i want uh, let's close this file and next i'll go to the test component.ts file and let me first import the http client from same address at the rate angular common slash http and let me create an instant of it inside our using a shortcut method by creating an instant inside our constructor using private http and it's of type http client now if i want first let's try to fetch the data using get request and that first we need a variable which will be storing the data coming from the back end from the django side and will be displaying the data onto the front end so let's say that variable is called object in short obj and it's of type any because we don't know what form it will be so it's always safer to say it's of any type and now let's use this http client to get the data let's say this dot object is equals to this dot http dot get and here first we need to give the url of our location the data we want to fetch and it is this uh, one to seven uh, point zero point zero point one at 800 port slash men the django url and we give this as a url now we need to subscribe it and here we'll give a function suppose a data is coming then that data is is equals to this object is equals to data now we need to bind this object to our front end so that we can see what actually is getting saved inside this uh, object let's call it inside our h3 tag let's save it and let's go to our angular application and see what's going on there we can see we are getting an object which is of type object so because we know that this is a JSON type file, we can just hard say it JSON here to display it in a JSON manner. As we can see, we are not getting the same results which we were supposed to get. We were supposed to get results like this, the objects which are saved in our database here. But we are not getting objects like that. Let's 
inspect it and again here if you can see we have got some error and it says the course policy the no access allow origin is there we are getting the course error again because earlier we solved the cross-site resource forgery but now but at that time we did not allow the course origin although we added the course exemption on one function so let's go back to our Django to make it allow it uh, like allow the course origin policy for any site so that we can access the data and we can fetch the data from our angular application so let's go back to our Django application and first we need to go to our settings.py file and here we need to import some things uh, especially one module which allows uh, the Django to work with the course open. So first we need to install that. I have already installed the Django course headers. You can do it using pip install Django course headers. You can use this to install the Django course header. If you do not have that, by default, you will have it. So if by chance it says that it says that you don't have it, then you can install it using pip. So because I have installed it, I will uh, first list it in our installed app so that I can use it. So in the installed app, I'll say course headers and then we need to use two middlewares first one is our course from our course headers dot middleware dot course middleware and the second one is from the Django dot middleware dot common dot common middleware and that's uh, that's not all we now we need to specify what exactly location we are allowing the course headers to do so first thing is we can give a location a list of location that these sites are allowed to take the resources from anywhere else but for ease of this learning let's just say the course is allowed on all the location so we'll say course origin allow all is equals to true so this line will allow the course to be uh, allow any site to accept the data from anywhere let's see what's going on in our Django server and it has restarted now let's go back to our angular application and restart and refresh it as you can see as soon as we refreshed it we have got the data we were expecting so this data is getting fetched from this uh, backend to the our angular application front end so our get request is being completed successfully now let's try to post some data into our backend and we'll see in the django side did we save that data or not so in a similar way let's go back to our angular application here as we were using get request here now we'll be using a post request and in the post request we also need to give the data which we want to send along with this request now we can say it's send data and this should be in the JSON manner and we know the way we need to send the data is in this test.py file and this is the data which we want to send so I'll just paste it here 
and yeah it's better now let's change it to maybe 500 and the size is double XL and the color is red so another t-shirt now and it's from angular let's add one more tag to know that it's coming from angular so we are saying it's coming from angular now we need to use the send data in our post request here so what we are expecting is and it is of type any sorry uh, we'll be using this dot send data so what we're expecting is we are sending this data on this URL and in return whatever is coming we are saving it in the object and we are displaying it with the help of property binding so as we know in the return we are expecting a request is done JSON so let's go back to our front end and let's see it has already refreshed it and we can see request is done which is what we were expecting while we send the data from our request library let's go back to our uh, Django application here let's refresh it and we can see it has added one more item in our men's list and that is of the shirt we send the data from angular and we can verify it from here from angular so this is how uh, we have successfully sent the data into our django api endpoint and that is being saved in a json file and we can fetch the data from that django, uh, django api endpoint and can show it on the uh, angular front end website so you can imagine these can be image URLs and we can be fetching the image and displaying it properly with a full page. So we are using an API made in Django and connected it in the Angular front end. It was not possible without the course uh, enabling. So we allowed the course to be allowed.